Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here in Aurora Autism for the continuation of this blind let's play of The Legend of Dragoon. So, last time, we unfortunately were not able to use the psychosotic bomb and the moot that was being created by Savan in order to um, stop the first signet steer to break open the seal to the moon that never sets, and so as a result, Savan sacrificed himself, and unfortunately his creations went down with him. So, uh, sorry. So now we are on our way to try and gain access to the lost city of Xenobatos. Um, I did not see a teleporter to get us there, um, at least on the way back, but I'm thinking that it may be over here that we can gain access to it. This must be the door to the teleport device T. Carl was talking about. Yeah, I think I'm right on this. And there it goes, it's opened. So now we get to make the journey to Xenobatos. Cause yeah, they said this was allow us to get access there. It looks like the one in my forest! This can take us to Xenobatos instantly. It's completely different! Wingley's had such astonishing magic power moving between cities instantly like this. Yeah, it's a shame we couldn't use it to go warp to any city we wanted. It's astonishing, alright, but I cannot accept life being generated by magic. Me neither. It's too depressing to be born just to do one thing. The Virage Embryo, the god of destruction, was born for destruction only. Its existence might have the same sorrow. Then let's try to make it feel better <laughs> by destroying it, right? By making sure it'll never be born. Oh, but I get the feeling it will be. We got to protect the next thing that's sphere. Let's go to the lost city Xenobatos. And back and over to the, the last place that I remember watching my brother playing this game. So from Aglis to Xenobatos. On a magical warp. And there we go. I hope there's a place that we can use as a hotel, because that would be nice. <coughs> but for some reason, I don't think I'll get that luxury here in Xenobatos. And so here we go. Welcome to the next crazy location in the game. Yeah, it would be nice to get, like, weapons and armor and that sort of thing. So this is the Lost City Xenobatos. It is the city where the legislation and administration of the world of the ancient Winglies were carried out. It's an austere place. It seems like a place Albert would love. <laughs> I'm sure he would. Yes, I have a great interest in the way in which they manage their nations. However, I don't think I can learn anything from such a mess. It fell more than 10,000 years ago. Yeah, it did. Warning. Oh, warning. Hello there. Guard lap to one. Warning. Xenobatos is under martial law. Leave the city at once. Screw you. Good for you, Albert. <laughs> it seems that Xenobatos is still alive. Warning. Invaded by humans. Take shelter in Cadessa promptly. <laughs> warning, warning, warning. Warning again. However, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be functioning. Or at least functioning properly. Are those generated by magic too? It seems like it. But it's different from Baku. There is no heart in it. It is just like Sieg now. Hey guys, there is something coming this way! Something else? What was that? Was that like a teleport- a transporter? What's this? I am Kulon, I'll be your wings. Okay, so yeah, this takes us to wherever we need to go. Savan was talking about it in his last moments. Oh, no, this is Rose's line. Ah! 
Safan was talking about it in his last moments. Wings that can fly the skies will be given. So this takes us wherever we need to go. Here in Xenobatos. It was about you. Cool rules and people who are carrying the world. Although Savan couldn't accomplish his objectives, he fulfilled his role at the expense of his life. Now everything is on you. I know, I will stop my father and fulfill Savan's will. I'll be here waiting for you whenever you would like to go back to the world. I'll be your wings. Okay, so... If I was to use Kulan now, where would it take me? Um, I'm guessing it would take me back to... Um... It would take me back to Atlas. Because, yeah, I would like to... Um, I'll, I'll hold off until I'll... I get a chance to see if there's a place for me to recover. Because I have to at least get that. The law prohibits humans from going to the Singlet Sphere, thus this flying disc cannot be used. So this is the Singlet Sphere ahead. Wingly Code Article 703, the law prohibits non-Winglies from going to the Singlet Sphere. Okay, 703. Yeah, this was the number my brother was trying to remember in order to get this law repealed. I'm a wingly! No magic power as a wingly is recognized. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait. <laughs> it means that my father cannot pass here either. Yeah, that's right! It means we still have time left. But of course we gotta get the law repealed. Where can we go to do that? I see the arrow down on the right. But I also see the arrow changing color, which means we may actually have to fight while we're here. And to be honest, that's something I would prefer not to do. Let me take Kulan to go back to my own world. Apparently we can come back here anytime we want. If it's allowing me this option, I want to use it. So... Where? Okay, well, well, it will allow me to go anywhere I want, as far as towns and cities are concerned. Ferny Fueno, Ulada is also an option. Fueno, Danal, so yeah, this is now... I now have access to go to pretty much any city that I want to. This option is now available to me. Um, let's go to Deningrad because it's closest. We'll take Deningrad because it's closest, and of course I'll have the option to move about. Okay, so we can use Kulon at any time. Okay, yeah, I want to get recovery items right now. I'm going to get recovery items and heal myself right now before I start fighting and continuing on. So, obviously I have to change back over to disc 3, but then I'll have to, of course, change back to disc 4 when I want to return to Xenobatos. So, I'll meet you guys in a moment after I've restocked and after I've gotten my HP and MP recovered. And then we'll continue on in Xenobatos. So, be back in a moment. Okay, returning now to Xenobatos after getting my items restocked. And so now that we're taking care of that, we can move on here in Xenobatos. So we want to see about getting Law 703 repealed. Oh, they even have a save point here for me. I'll take it. At least I'm allowed to use it. Because, yeah, I'd hate to think it would be pretty silly if they have, like, a ridiculous law like, you can't use the save point. <laughs> but we'll see what happens here as we continue on in Xenobatos. Alright, so... I talk to you. Warning, under martial law, visitation allowed only to legislation center, law factory, and law launcher. Great court, residential area, power room are off limits. Can't we go to the place where the signet sphere is? 
Impossible. The law prohibits humans from going to the signet sphere. Impossible. The, oh. It seems it is a waste to talk to them. Let's focus on how we can proceed. Well, we already know how. It's just a matter of doing it. It seems we can decide the destination with this operation counter. Determine the destination. We want to go to the... I think you have to do this in... If I remember what my brother did correctly, you have to go to the law factory first because you need to get the um, correct um, legislation enacted. And then you have to go to the law launcher in order to get it to be reversed. And then you have to go to the legislation center in order to get it enacted. So let's take law factory first. I just hope if if I watch what my brother did correctly, I'll have done this order correct. So off we go. On this crazy spinning sphere. Oh, shopman. Shop laptop is not... <laughs> okay, so we can use the shop. Yeah, let's go ahead. Weapon shop, please. What do you have here that I can use? We have a great axe for... Um, for a um, Kongle, we have a Gladius for Rose, and then everyone has their own respective armors. So we'll go ahead and equip everyone with what money I have. Oh, and those were all the, only the four ones I could use. Okay, that actually works quite fine, as far as I'm concerned. And so far, we still have not seen petrification in use. I mean, they start making it available to you in Disc 3, but so far there hasn't been an enemy that's come along that has used petrification. Is it like a really rare skill, or are they, or are they actually going to start spamming it here in Xenobatos and in Mayfill? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just wondering because we have not yet seen it happen. Okay, so it nullifies damage due to fire, due to wind, due to darkness, due to water. Okay. And the Gladius even get, causes automatic death. Great Axe stuns. Okay, so let's go ahead and start selling stuff. I'll start by selling weapons and armor that I'm not going to use necessarily anymore. I'm going to hold on to that. I want to continue to... I'll get rid of the Dancing Dagger. Yeah, if there's something that is not given a status effect, I will not hold on to it. Okay. Hold on to the Brass Knuckle. Um, we haven't had an issue with um, the Hashel really dealing with SP accumulation because we haven't used them all that much. But I want to hold on to the energy girdle for now. What else can we sell off? All three can use the sparkle dress, but I believe I've already dealt with this in this situation. Um, I'll hold on to an angel robe. We'll sell off our tiaras. And then... What else do I want to get rid of? Because I don't know if there's necessarily else, something else that I do want to remove. Um, I cannot honestly see me using Mage Ring. And the way that we're accumulating SP right now... Um, I don't honestly see myself using a Spirit Ring either. Yeah, because we're getting good numbers already on, S on SP accumulation. I'm never going to use these. I'm never going to use these items that reduce magical status afflictions or use magical um, elemental damage. We're not going to be using any of this. And this is really the situation now where I really decide what really is necessary and what really is not. Okay. Well, here's another worthless bracelet. Yeah, I think I've sold them all off now. 
Um, I'll hold on to the Sapphire Pin for now. I'm never going to use the War God Calling because of the fact that th those really do have not had really any use by me at all. I'd rather build up my additions and learn them. Um, yeah, the Pretty Hammer, it says, gives twice as much SP but not as powerful, so I really see no reason to hold on to it, because, yeah, it'll take 15 attack and magic attack away from Meru, and that's not what I want. And besides, I'm doing pretty decently. Uh, full, f um, Hammer Spin from Meru now gets up to 70 SP now, so I'm not desperate. So we'll sell the Pretty Hammer. Um... Badlax, no reason to hold on to that because it doesn't have status afflictions. Um, I'm gonna hold on to the Saint Armors and the Robes for now. Alright, I guess this is fine. And then anything else that I can use as far as items, are there... What specifically could I buy here? Okay, so it's pretty much the status quo. And I'm maxed out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, this is fine. Can I talk to you? You are at the flying disc station, departing from the law factory. Um, don't want to go anywhere yet. Do I, can I speak to you? Okay, you're just the, um, you're just the shopkeeper, I guess. You're the owner of the shop. Okay, so we got to use the teleporters to get to where we need to go. Whoa, that didn't sound good. Sounds actually quite intimidating around here. Oh, treasure chests, but can I get up to it? Oh, really? Oh, cheapness. Cheapness. Are we just getting up looping? Um, it's looking like that's what could happen. But at least we got the treasure chests, can't carry more items. Well, I can pretty much be sure what this is gonna be. What the? Is it moving me? Um, what did it just take me to? Did I get kicked out? Yeah, I believe it just kicked us out. I believe we are. Everybody's feeling the same way. Crap. Oh, that's convenient. We just got arrested. It seems that they arrest people and send them here. But can we get ourselves out? Meru scouring the area. So yeah, we actually have to avoid contact. So how do we leave? Maybe no exit. Damn it. I don't want to think about a room without an exit, me neither. Wait a minute, didn't we forget somebody? <laughs> Conco! <laughs> ah, yeah, good thing you're so strong that you can actually bust this out. Why was- yeah, why was only Congo outside? Congo don't know. It's simple. He was too heavy to teleport, yeah. Now we can get out. So if I ever get caught again, I can just use this convenient exit. <laughs> yeah, screw you people who administer the law here in Xenobatos. Can't carry any more items. Screw you. And it looks like we're about to have a, net, a fight, so what do we have to deal with here in Xenobatos? What are the enemies I will have to confront here? Yeah, because it's not the, just the police I have to deal with. It appears to be a couple of Grim Reapers as well. And the person who's watching over them. And, oh, this thing throws tarot cards at me. Fortunately, tarot cards don't hurt. At least not yet, anyway. A death purger and a professor. Let's try and take him down. Perfect hammer spin. And that scores for 222, and we stunned it. No, we did not stun it. All right, Dart, go. Can't fool me. Uh, it's gonna take a lot more than that. 
Alright, Albert, it's your turn. Nice. 43. And more tarot cards. This time for 135. Yeah, actually, if it's a professor, I think those were books he just threw at me. Those must be some pretty painful books. And some defenses. Alright. It's gone. <coughs> mm. Alright, Dart, it's your turn. Is that the best you can do? I mean, seriously. 583. And then... Amusing lecture? Oh, what are you gonna do? Oh, he's gonna be Witch Albert. Well, isn't that just spectacular? Thankfully, we killed it off before any real damage could be caused by Albert's affliction. So with that, we also obtained the Sage's Cloak. So, I guess we'll find out what that does. But first, yeah, let's find out what it does, because I can't remember what it is capable of doing. Let's go down to the bottom of the list, or at least towards what we do not have equipped. Sage's Cloak increases attack and magic. I think that's evasion by 20 points? Um, I, I want to check to make sure what we're dealing with here. Okay, it appears to be attack and magic evasion. I, I don't know that... If that's what's supposed to be, they spelled it wrong. What's in here? 200 gold. Alright, leaving. Yeah, see you next time. And knowing my luck, there very well could be a next time. Alright, so we're back here. So we're essentially in reset position. Alright. Want to try the Law Factory again. So away we go. So we obviously have to try and figure out where the heck it is we have to get ourselves to while avoiding the security. Okay. Alright, we have to move ourselves over here. Get there's another chest over here. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to play how good are you at evading. Okay. We got its back turned. Oh, wow. Yeah, th this guy doesn't mess around, does he? Okay, we were here before. Then run. Run, 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 run. Give up. Oh, yeah, we had this situation before. I have to wait for it to pass by. Then... Turn ourselves over here. And now, how to go about it. Um, it seemed like there will be enough time to get access to the next teleporter. See if we can make it happen. Nope. Nope, I got kicked. Ah, nice. Yeah, this could take a few tries. Yeah, they doesn't mess around around here. Hi, Kongol. <laughs> I try, but it's not easy. Especially when you're do playing this game for the first time ever. I can see why my brother struggled so much to do what had to be done around here. This is not an easy place to get around. Okay, back here. Yeah, maybe there's like a lie I can use to 
have so that the security is not chasing me all the time. Because, yeah, we know what law I have to use to gain access to the signet sphere, but now I have to determine if there is also a law that allows me to avoid being caught by its security. I think the only time that I can use is when it gets closest, closer to me. And... Go! Alright. Got past that part. And we get to move on to the next area. Okay, now where am I? Okay. So it looks like we... Oh, it doesn't look like these things are going to threaten me here. Do I use their teleporter to continue? Can I keep... Summit Law Production License issued by Legislation Center. A law production license? What is it talking about? If you don't have one, step back. You are hindering fulfillment of the quota. What about you? Do you see anything? No, it does not appear to do so. So, I may have to use its, this platform, or can I? Um, hello? Anyone there? Can I advance? Um, is there going to be a pedestal for me to use over here? Um, this is proving to be very confusing so far. Oh, now one goes up top. Yeah, screw you, game. Alright. Can I get around him? No, they just keep... Alright, so... Yeah, it doesn't look like I can come here yet. Yeah, it's, it looks like the Law Factory is not the place I can come to right now. Get the treasure chest, get the treasure chest. What's inside? A rainbow dress. Well, let's see what the rainbow dress does. Obviously, only a female can be equipped with this, and I doubt it would be Rose that can be equipped with it. So, let's see if this can be equipped to Miss Meru. Avoids poison arm, stun, poison stun arm and blocking. But Meru also has been given an increase in her in defense, though. Um, I think I might want to give this to Miranda. Yeah, because I get the feeling that if we do indeed have what happened back in disc 3 where we were divided then it's actually best for me to give this to someone like Miranda and now we'll get sent back to jail because yeah obviously we cannot advance any further here until we can get to another obviously we have to go the I want to check to see where the um law launcher will get me to as far as progress is concerned. So, back to where we were before. And so... Yeah, it'll take a few tries, but I'm sure we'll get the hang of this eventually. Alright, talk to you. Let's try the Law Launcher. Yeah, because this obviously has to go in a certain order. And I guess I speak to you to get back to where I was before. <coughs> but for now, let's check out the Law Launcher area. And as before, security will have to be avoided. Okay. So I'm not worried about... Oh, you moved over. You moved over. Wait for you to go back to the opposite side. Oh boy. These things are stingy on defense. These things are really stingy on defense. Oh, you're moving too soon, Matt. Oh, oh, oh get the, ch the chest! I cannot carry any more items. Hooray. Well then. You know what? I'm not even going to bother wasting my time with it. Um, let's see where this takes me. It takes me up top. Uh, wait for it to go by me. Then over here. Get access to the treasure chest containing a spirit cloak. 
Alright, well, we're certainly finding a lot of, um, armor. So what would Spirit Cloak do? Can anyone be equipped with this? Increase escape from magical attack by 20 points. Okay, not necessarily something I could use right away. But we'll see where this goes. Go over to this side, because I want to try and use the teleporter. That will take me down here. Alright, I'll wait for you to make your moves. It's a good thing they don't step on the teleporters, because that would be pretty chaotic. Uh, uh. Can I carry any more items? But what should we really be surprised by that is the next question. Where does this take me? Further away. Okay, and what do you do? You are at the flying this station in front of the launcher. Oh, do we not wait for your turn? Oh, okay. Hold on. Yeah, let me in. Where do we move you? Am I stuck? I was about to say, am I stuck? But no, I guess we can advance. Summit law launching license issued by the factory. Oh, really? It is in order. Oh, crap. Law launching license issued by law factory. Is anything required to have a license here? If you don't have one, step back. You are hindering fulfillment of the quota. Ah, yeah. Damn you. Yeah, I really thought I... Huh. It seems like this is not in the order I thought it was going to be. Okay. So, let's just leave here. And you know what? I'll just get myself thrown in jail anyway, and we'll just restart. Hi. I want to go back to prison. <laughs> yeah, so... We'll go ahead and so, since we have not covered the legislative area next, we might as well um, get that covered. And we'll do that in the next episode because we're coming up on half an hour. So we'll bring this episode to a close and we'll try and figure out what it is that exactly the order is that we have to do. So by the, by the way that they're showing it right now, it's, I thought it was in order of the way they had it on the list. But now, obviously, that's not the case. So, we'll deal with this situation next episode. So, with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this blind Let's Play of The Legend of Dragoon. And when I join you again, we will try and check out the legislative area to see if that is where we can get our license in order to get to the law factory, get the law that we want repealed, and then go to the law launcher to put it to use. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.